You know, I was originally going to start this video with me screaming into a pillow in frustration over how angry this series of comics makes me. I actually had the pillow on hand on for when I did it. But you know what? As I read further into the series, I stopped caring so much. At this point, Secret Empire doesn't so much make me angry as it just disappoints me so much that I just can't care anymore. It's, it's hard to explain. I'm still angry. I still hate it with a passion. But I'm just so tired of it at this point. Just, God, what were they thinking? <sighs> Let's get to it, shall we? Captain America first debuted in March 1941. Created by Joe Simon and Jack Kirby, the good captain was a super soldier who was created to fight the Nazis in World War II. In fact, one of his first covers depicted him punching Hitler in the face. Captain America traditionally stands for the best parts of the United States. Strong, compassionate, and bringing hope to others. It's a damn shame that some people think screwing with that ideal is somehow a good thing. Hello and welcome to I Have Issues, a comic book show where I talk about comic book related subjects that piss me off. And oh boy do I have a big one today. Let's dive right into the raging dumpster fire that is Hydra Captain America. Every summer, Marvel decides to do a big event comic to try and boost sales, and in 2017, they drop the ball with Secret Empire. Basic summary. Steve Rogers is revealed as a Hydra Nazi. He leads Hydra to take over the U.S. Hydra U.S. sucks, and heroes try to fix it. They do, because of course they do, and the day is saved. There is so much wrong with this book that it's hard not to rant about it all. There's the stupidity of Odin's son, there's Miles Morales throwing two years worth of build down the drain, AI Tony Stark, and confusing plot elements that were probably relegated to the tie-ins, but really should have been in the main fucking book. But today, that's not what I'm here to talk about. Leading up to this event, it was revealed that Steve Rogers was a Nazi, and that he was a Nazi because Hydra convinced the personality of a Tesseract-like Cosmic Cube that Hydra was the best thing ever. So when she restored old man Steve Rogers to his younger self, she completely rewrote his history. Which brings us to one of the first big problems with this. Steve Rogers' Nazi history is a little inconsistent. So it's said in the comic that Kobeck, I believe I'm saying that correctly, the mind inside the Cosmic Cube rewrote Steve's history completely. He was raised Hydra, he was a Nazi, and when he was rewritten by the Allies' use of the Cube, he became the Steve Rogers everybody knows. Then, when he was restored to his youth, Kobeck returned his Nazi memories to him. This is what Steve believes his history to be, and even the other Hydra agents he works with seem to think this way too. Hell, he refers to Madame Hydra as a mother figure, and she acts like they have a long history together. But when we cut back to the actual heroes, they remember the old Steve Rogers, and are aware that the Cube rewrote him to be a Hydra agent. So did Kobeck change history, or just the memories Steve has? What about the other Hydra agents? Are they just playing along with it? Or did they have the memories rewritten so that they would accept Steve as their leader? Why didn't Kobeck rewrite everyone, change history completely so that Hydra was in control and not leave a force to oppose Hydra? She didn't learn that they were evil till after she changed Steve, so that would have been something she wouldn't have minded doing. At one point, we even see a teacher telling her class that the history from World War II was all a lie and Hydra restored the world to how it should be. Nazis winning World War II and Hydra controlling the country. So did Kobeck rewrite the world or not? I seriously don't know. But that's only part of it. My second biggest issue is that they try to make you feel sorry for Nazi Steve Rogers. I remember at the beginning of this comic, we see Steve and his Hydra companions talking about their control of the country. They want Steve to blow up a city as a show of power and also kill the resistance that's fighting them. Steve doesn't want to because he doesn't want to kill his friends or kill innocent people. 
and then he decides to talk about the mind control drugs they've been putting in the water supply and the camp slash prisons they've been putting the inhumans in because they might be a danger to the American people. Let me repeat that. They want you to feel sorry for the guy putting mind control drugs in the water and imprisoning people of a different race because they might be dangerous. What kind of bullshit is that? Why the hell should I care about his problems? Screw him! He's a Nazi that betrayed everybody and took over the country! I don't give two shits about Steve's problems! And now we'll get to the problem you were all probably expecting. Why it was a terrible decision to make Captain America into a Nazi. Captain America was created by Joe Simon and Jack Kirby, two legends of the comics industry. When asked about why they created him, there was a simple answer. They created the Captain to be the foiled Hitler. Hitler was the biggest evil in the world at the time, and they created a hero to fight him. One that represented America at its very best, one that could stand up for us all and beat the crap out of some Nazis. And at times, it didn't go well. Oh, the comic sold well, of course. Articles I read said they sold a million copies when the first issue came out, the one that had him punching Hitler on the cover. But they faced some problems with American-based Nazis. See, there were groups of Americans who liked Hitler's ideals and wanted to support him in his efforts. So seeing this comic book character punching their hero upset them. I've heard that Simon and Kirby received death threats, but I haven't seen anything that went that far, though there were threats of violence, if not death, several times. Captain America became a symbol to the American people, representing the best we possibly could be. And Marvel and Nick Spencer tore all that down. The symbol of America was taken down and dragged through the mud so that they could use the shock value of it to sell more books. They decided that making money was more important than this symbol keeping its integrity. A character specifically created to be an anti-Nazi super soldier, created by two Jewish creators no less, was broken down and reshaped into whatever Marvel thought would make them a quick buck. And you might be saying, well that's good. Turning Captain America evil is a good idea for an interesting story. People will want to read that. Well, guess what? You're wrong. Secret Empire, at the time of recording this, is the second worst selling event comic in Marvel's collective history. Nobody wanted this idea, everybody hated it, but Marvel decided to cram it down their collective throats and it got them nowhere. Now what they've got is a bunch of pissed off fans, readers potentially leaving left and right, and a busted up symbol of the American people that no one will be able to take seriously again. Great job, guys. Go fuck yourselves. Well, that's it for me, guys. Thank you so much for watching the video. I hope you enjoyed it, and thanks for letting me rant at you for however many minutes this has gone on for. Hope you'll come back next time for Star Wars Month, and above all else, have yourselves a fantastic day, and I'll see you next time.